see it. All right, come with me. Welcome on the show. Good to have you here. I've got to say, first up, fantastic series. That was absolutely awesome. Oh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic. Now, I just want to talk about your first game. It didn't go so hot. You guys, you had some... It looked like kind of a weak lane. Do you? Is there anything you would have really done different in that, like, picked differently for the draft in that first match? No, not necessarily, but it depends if you're referring to the bottom lane. Like, the plan was just to farm, but then try explaining a Russian guy that he doesn't need to gang. <laughs> okay. I tried it, like, fucking 15 times to not work out. <laughs> All right, okay then. So I guess obviously you were playing with a couple of uh, stand-ins, so obviously Team Synergy wasn't going to be as uh, good yep. as it could have been. So there is that. But obviously, you know, you guys came back in the second and third games, and, obvi and really, game number two, obviously, you really had a lot more map control. You had a lot more lane control. The aggressive trying, it worked out extremely well. I thought you were possibly going to throw the time uh, in there for a while. but actually it didn't work out. <laughs> it really didn't work. You didn't think it worked. I, it raised it. No, like got absolutely no farm. first, man. Your trial lane. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, like your trial lane got crushed. Oh, okay. No, I mean you left Razor with like the lowest gold per minute in the entire game. So we figured, you know, that's a fairly good success. Razor had no money at all, and Queen of Pain was just rolling in money. So we figured it was all right. But all right. I mean, yeah. do, you, do you feel it's not a victory to shut down Razor's farm? You just had to get your own farm rolling there as well. What? Sorry. Or do you feel it's it was like you lost a trial lane up top in the second game because you didn't get any money? No, there like not necessarily, but. The thing is that, as I said, like playing with a Russian random guy, it kind of sucks dick. Is you told him to like play passive and just chill out, and he's not gonna do that. And especially he wasn't having Tom level two at level three, so it was really hard to fight. Okay. While he was trying to ramble a lot. <laughs> Okie okay, doke then. Well, I mean, oh, well, I suppose uh, the second game, well, it went a lot better. And in game number three, you guys, you were struggling just a bit for a little while. It seemed like Moscow Five, they were gaining a bit of ground, but. I just want to ask about the Juggernaut build. When we've seen Juggernaut from other teams, they have generally been going towards the Healing Ward. They've been trying to get that Healing Ward early on. On the other hand, you guys, yep. you went with the Crit, the Crit build instead. Is there any particular reason for that? There are way too many units that could kill the ward. For example, like Fear Entrance and so on. So it wouldn't really help me. Especially when I was going for Bottle build because it's made anyway. Alright, okay. So then. I don't know, like I just got a Crit for the damage, basically. Because I don't have enough region in the ward wouldn't help me as much as in normal games it does. Alright, so like, normally you guys would also run the ward as well, that's yeah, just this yeah, particular scenario. Much. Yep. Right, fantastic. There's no way we could push, so it's just it's much easier to farm with the crit anyway. Alright. I've got a question here from Banana Man uh, 133 He says, how do you think your transition from hard support to carry is going? Well, I'm not transitioning actually, but just for those games. Okay, it's just for the stand-in games. Yep. Oh. We figured it's better to like have the most important heroes played by us, team members. Fair enough. I'm mean, gonna assume that. Uh, yeah, obviously Vigos. He's asking, what do you think about switching roles? Be obviously that's about the same role, uh, a similar response there. Just because you've been playing with, well, it seems, it seems a lot of the responses here have come down to stand-ins. <laughs> fact, up. Obviously, we're missing, I think it was Mania and Sony tonight. Is there any particular reason they weren't available? Yep. Yeah, well, Sony is working, and then Brian has some family stuff he must attend, so... Um, I've got a question here from Jack of Clubs. He's asking, how did you feel about the Razor from the second game? Obviously, it wasn't... Oh, I know how they picked it. Like, basically, they thought they can steal enough damage with the Link and then kill the Tom in no time. And Undying without Tom is close to useless, if you know what I mean. Like that's where where the damage comes from. Yeah, we actually noticed the Razor Nexus. He wasn't a, he like he did have static link up and he wasn't attacking while he was using. He was sort of just waiting until it got maximum damage before it would actually he would actually start attacking. Also, did not skill his ult for quite some time, so he left it for quite a while. But I'm just talking <laughs> about Razor. Do you feel that he's a competitive hero? Obviously, we don't see him a lot in the scene. Have not seen him a lot in the scene for quite a long time. Do you feel that he's a legitimate pick? Well, honestly, I feel like. If you want to pick Razor, then you're like forced to go on a tri lane against a tri lane. Basically, like, it's really strong on the tri lane in early game, but then for late game, he really needs a lot of farm and he just lacks that mobility. Yeah, well, you, if anything, like your tri lane, it did. 
it did really slam his like it really did slam his farm. He was looking at very very low gold per minute, very low net worth. I think he at the end of the game he really he was literally either the worst the the least in terms of net worth or the second least. He really had no money at all. So like you said there, if he doesn't have that money, he's yeah, not particularly effective you... at all. Yep. When you pick Razor, you expect a really good early game. That's the only way he's going to do well in mid game as well. You crush them early and then you're really strong so they can mess with you. Or else it's pretty much close to useless. Just looking for any more questions here from the community. Doesn't seem like they managed to come up with anything else. But I'm going to have to ask you, obviously this is your first victory in the Premier League. How do you rate your chances going through? Do you think you're going to get better and better? Obviously, you know, you've had a bit of a shaky start, but do you think you can ramp it up just a bit, take out some more teams here, or do you feel like the competition is extremely strong? Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? We are a new team though, so it's, it was really hard for us to start, I mean, it still is, because we're not playing too much yet. But that's changing, like, every day. We still have Sonny working, and he's going to quit that real soon, so then we can switch to just practicing a lot. Okay. And I mean, obviously, Empire and Virtus Pro are looking to be the two scariest teams right now in the Premier League. Obviously, Empire as well have uh, really had some huge successes on the international stage as well. Have you got any sort of aces up your sleeve I'm going to ask for Empire? Because I know a lot of teams really got to watch out for them. Mm, not necessarily. Like, we don't focus on enemy teams and anything like that right now. Just trying to improve ourselves and just create our own style for now. Okay. Now I know the previous the previous event. absolute legends they uh, did a lot of study on particular teams before they go into battle with them. Particular AG they would they particular they focused on AM evil geniuses quite a lot and uh, spend a lot of long hours watching what they were doing. But you know, fair enough if you are just going to improve on yourselves. Well, I think it's more important to like be good yourself as a team at first and then try to study opponents and see how you can beat them. Or you might as well like just be so good that enemy has to study you if they want to win. You know. Don't necessarily have to play according to someone. I've got one last question here. I don't really have a lot of questions here from the community, but one last question. Overall, do you feel your team has a particular signature style yet? I know a lot of the CIS teams are really known for the whole, they're really aggressive ganking style picks. Obviously, the Chaos Knights and Wisp Combos, or the Tiny and Wisp Combos, they really like to play super aggressive in terms of that, play really messy games, gank based games. <laughs> do, you, do you guys feel you've got a particular trademark style yet? Mmm. Well, not really actually, but we're close. Right now it's kind of chaotic because I like to kill a lot, like figures and other guys don't like to kill a lot, so we need to get to a common point, I guess. Okay then, well, you know what, thanks for coming on the show, um, wish you luck in your next games, and of course, great series tonight, and I think, oh, actually, you know, we should see you in a few seconds, actually, you guys have to play against Pulse. Yep. Just yep. a question, Thank how, how do you feel your chances are against Pulse? Pretty good, I'd say. Any I know, I think we have like close to the same chances playing any team, honestly. I don't think it varies that much. Any particular like combos? Like all the top teams, for example, all, all the top teams, like, they're invited to DPL, right? So all the teams mm. are good, basically. And they all have like their own playstyle and stuff, so if they let them get their game right, they can beat you anytime. Doesn't matter how good you are. Any particular hero or player combos, well, like player hero combos or particular Hero combos, you're gonna watch out from Pulse, or just gonna play it, just gonna wing it. Nah, just gonna be normal. Okie dog then. All right, well, thanks for coming on the show. We'll see you in about 30 minutes. We'll be back with Absolute Legends versus Pulse, and again, good luck. Right, thank you, man.